Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk to you about the multivariate normal distribution, and in particular some numerical stability concerns that we might have when we're trying to compute the density of the multivariate normal. And this shows up in statistics, it shows up in machine learning, and if I go down here to the density function, there's a particular quantity that I want to pay attention to, which is this square root of the determinant of some covariance matrix sigma. Oftentimes in machine learning and in statistics, we'll actually be interested in computing the log determinant of the covariance matrix, and that's what I'm going to pay attention to uh, in this video in particular. So in order to do that, I've set up a Python script over here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a covariance matrix, and I'm going to compute its log determinant in a very straightforward way, and then I'm going to show you what's actually a better way to compute the log determinant of that matrix and show that the naive case is going to break down when you get to very large matrices. But to, first, to start out with, to show that this is actually numerically correct, I'll just do a small example. What I'm going to do is define a covariance matrix to be an exponentiated squared distance uh, or, or squared distance between every row of a matrix X and every other row. I'll use random normal numbers. Okay. The exponentiated minus 0.5 times C disk, which is going to give me the squared distances from every row to every other row. From here, I can just do log determinant. np.log scipy linear algebra dot determinant of that matrix. And we can see that we can run this. And we get an answer. Now, what I want to show is that there is a better way to compute this quantity, one that will be more numerically stable, and that, in fact, I think faster. To do that, we take the Cholesky decomposition of the matrix C, And then we'll print out the better log determinant. And here's the formula. It's the sum of the log of the diagonal entries of the matrix L, or the Cholesky factor of the covariance matrix C. Oh, excuse me, it's two times that. That's why it's not the same. There we go. And you see that this is, in fact, the same quantity. Now, what happens if instead of using n equals 10, we had done n equals 1,000? Well, I think that this line, line 12, is going to fail. And you can see that, in fact, it does fail. We'll end up with a divide by zero error, and so that's the end of our computation. We're going to be propagating that minus infinity everywhere else, and it's not correct. But you'll also see that using the Cholesky decomposition approach, we do actually get an answer. And in fact, it's the correct answer. And so this, I think, shows the numerical stability properties that can be uh, obtained by taking Cholesky decompositions of the covariance matrix and how uh, we can use that to our benefit in log likelihood computations in machine learning and in statistics. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.